Hey, Cassie J popping in for a quick couple of minutes. I just wanted to share something, a couple of things actually. I uh, hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. I know it's homecoming weekend for a lot of folks, so good luck, whoever your team is. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to hop in uh, to share something really quickly that I, uh, well, to talk about something really quickly that I saw the other day on someone else's uh, page. So, I saw a young lady uh, make a post, you know, sharing how she was always um, going to be working on her own uh, fitness goals. And so, someone came into uh, her the comments and said, by the term, fat shaming. So, uh, that she was fat shaming other people by sharing that she was working on her own her her personal goals so i just you know i really didn't get that but i've actually i'm not going to get into it all in this video because i've actually made another uh a video when it actually happened um i made this video the other night so i'm either going to post the link up in the status to that video feel free to watch it um i was a little peeved okay Irked about the entire thing um, because, I, I, well, you'll see why. You're here. You you will hear why. So um, I'm just not going to redo that video in this one. Um, I chose this photo because I will say this much about fat shaming, which is something that I'm absolutely against. I do not even. I I, um, I don't even like using the word fat, okay, but more of that in, in the other video. But my before photos, these are, are, are the same before photos. I use these same ones over and over again because I'm determined that there not be, you know, several before photos, you know, three months later, four months later, five months later, if you get what I mean, um, where I'm coming from, I am determined to keep the results that I have gained, as you see in the middle photo, and, and to also keep improving. So I'm not like, you know, this is this was a photo, the before photos you see, was from two years ago. And so my goal is not to, um, by next year, have reverted back to these before photos to be showing you that I'm trying, you know, I'm starting over again. There's nothing wrong with starting over again. I'm totally for starting over again if you fall off track. I'm just sharing that falling off track is something that I strive every day not to do. I should say, stay. I strive. I, well, sometimes I don't strive as hard as I, I should uh, to not fall off track. You know, I still enjoy some of my favorites, okay? But um, staying off track is what I should say. That's a daily thing. That's the thing that I'm committed to um, doing is staying on track, okay? But I don't want to get all off track <laughs> of this conversation. In the first before photos, you can see the rolls on my back. Um, you know, you can see my uh, stomach and abdomen really protruding and all of that, right? This is a lot of excess fatty tissue, y'all. A lot. It's, you know, for, for my body frame. It was like, but this that having that excess fatty tissue wanted to get rid of the excess fatty tissue does not mean i didn't love me people are out here you know saying i love my rolls i love my cushion i love my whatever that's great we can love ourselves and not love the excess okay we can love ourselves and not love the roles. It's just, there's just so much. I'm getting all off track because I should have. <laughs> this was not a scripted video, but I, I went more into that in the other video. Okay, where I was a little bit more probably come across as a little bit uh, clearer with this. But anyway, I love myself. Then I just did not love the excess fatty tissue. I did not love the extra weight. I did not love, I have never loved the health issues 
Okay, I did not love the pain and inflammation. Plain and simple. Okay, but I've always loved myself. So I'm about improvement and I'm going to keep on doing it. Okay, I'm going to keep on, keep on doing it. And that's not fat shaming myself. That's not fat shaming other people by offering them a way if they are interested. That's not fat shaming. These are, those are just offers because there are people who are actually struggling to do some things that they, um, with their bodies and that they have not been able to do. So offering them a way uh, to help them do that is not fat shaming. People just get this thing so twisted. But anyway, I'm going into too much of what I actually discussed on the other video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up with this. I am um, looking for five um, five ladies who want to try a three-day challenge with me. I'm not going to get into all of what the challenge is about here. But it is a three-day challenge. I will just give you the information. Um, if you're interested and you reach out to me. Um, then, but it is a three day challenge just to just kind of get you in the groove, get you in the mood to working on achieving your long term goals. I'll just put leave it at that. 